What is up guys, Leather Beast here, and we are back for the NBA 2K21, and today's video, we are about to be doing the play-in tournaments of each team, from 7 through 10, Eastern Conference and Western Conference. As we are taking a look as the season comes to an ending, um, on the day of next week, before the playoffs begin, we have the team that we all are been looking for to take a look at each team. So, the 9 and 10 seed will be on the Eastern Conference as the Indiana Pacers play on against the other team, the Washington Wizards. And the other section of the Western Conference section, and this one will also be determining the Memphis Grizzlies facing on against the San Antonio Spurs after season two was bringing out a best part of the game as the Spurs win. Yeah, this is the one I did back in season two, uh, NBA 2K 2018. I don't have it anymore, so um, you can check out the video that I just did. Don't worry, I won't be deleting anything. I'll just let you guys know if I have a new game that I will be trying to do it along. So as we're being said, we're going to start with 9 and 10 seed in the play-in games starting in the Eastern Conference and stay tuned will be the Western Conference of each game. So this will be each two parts as we will be seeing. So we got a good matchup between each guys as we are looking forward to have it all. This is what we are seeing here. We have is the Indiana Pacers facing on at Washington to play against the Wizards. Now, real quick, because um, we have a couple of teams that are in the clinched playoff spots. We have the Sixers, my best team that I would like to see, Brooklyn Nets, and Milwaukee Bucks definitely took it all on the row in the Eastern Conference. And a Western Conference is the Utah Jazz. Phoenix Suns, LA Clippers, and Denver Nuggets. 44 wins. Looks like they we're looking for some MVP ladders on the board. Right now, uh, Nikola Jokic is in the lead right now. Joel Embiid's right behind. He has to find out if he is the MVP player of the award that we are looking at. In fact, right now, I will be playing as a Wizards after the Wizards come up with a devastation of the loss. It was the other team that has it all. Um, I think that was Utah Jazz. Yeah, I think so. So Utah Jazz has it all down here because um, this wasn't enough to get there in time to figure out what they got here. So here are lineups for Indiana Pacers. We have this McCollum Brogdon, Karis LeVert, Edmund Summer. Oshade Bruchek, um, the one that was replaced with uh, Miles Turner at that point. You don't see it on the bottom here. I don't know where Miles Turner has done, but he could be out of the game and end his season. And Domantas Sabonis in the center. And the Washington Wizards side, we have it's Russell Westbrook, Raul Neto, Bradley Beal, Riley Hachimura, and Alex Legg. Let's get this game on the play, play in tournament spots to find out what we have. And with the 2K announcement ready for a new season to get started, I will be doing season six of the NBA 2K22. Yeah, that is next right now. You guys do not want to miss this one out. This is the new season that we are bringing us in to find out what we have. So here are the rest of the lineups we have is McDermott, Aaron Holiday, TJ McConnell, Holiday, and Lamb. In other hand is Bertans, Gaffer, Bonga, Smith, Matthews, Robin Lopez, Hutchinson, and Winston. Well, folks, this is what we are calling for. Let's find out who wins the first play-in tournaments as we welcome to the following presentation of the NBA. Nice to see the uh, Capitol building and also the Washington Monument along with the Lincoln Memorial Park. 
we really love to hear what is going to happen right now, but the district itself, well, there might be a chance if we are looking to see the Wizards taking over the beat against the Pacers. And it looks like everything is doing really well. And now let's see what DA has to say. Kevin, thanks very much. The Wizards have struggled the last couple of years, so some people were surprised that Bradley Beal signed an extension there. Beal said, today a lot of stars want to team up. No knock, but I'm a firm believer in sticking with what you got. If I win a championship in D.C., that'll hold way more weight than if I just left and tried to get one. Kevin? Oh, I love, oh, I love that old Bradley Beal does it anyway. I really love to hear that. And here's the man to support us this season. 20.5, last five days was 27 um, in season four. Looking very good out there. Not quite enough to pick this uh, play into the playoff spot. Without making a win in the first round, without Victor Oladipo. Unfortunately, Victor Oladipo was injured, and he was not able to play with the Houston Rockets that time. What could this possibly be? And the last game that we talked about it before, the Wizards had a win over the Pacers, 133 to 132 in the overtime. This was kind of a tough call, but I'm not sure what they're going to do next. If they want to rematch it, well, let's see what happens when here we go wizards win the tip off and we start now first call was not just a good play that i was taking a look uh, back at the last couple of seasons that the phoenix suns took right over it out in and out they are in second place right now underneath the spot of you know what i'm talking about the um utah jazz they're definitely working on their way like a charm and it never did happen before once their teams goes in and out. Nothing to say anything about that, but that's more what I usually say. Simonez takes a three, and this one will miss it right off of the two in the middle. Now Westbrook picks up the first rebound of the game. Hachimura moves it over to Beal. Beal looking over, thanks for the screen. Shots goes in. Beal with the first point. So it's two points now. Here is Brogdon. Telling them to get back to find a man you're looking for. Brogdon goes up. Ray's shot is off. Two rebounds for Russell Westbrook. After playing for his last season, Russell Westbrook had a hard time playing with the Rockets but definitely had a great season if he really likes it to be back in the game. So it looks like Russell Westbrook has, um, has a lot of concerns about not playing with the Rockets. Well, it's too much for the risk here. And right now his contract is being switched over. Not too much to say about that one, but it's too far to think about it. Lever to Sabonis with the shot. No good. Brissett. We'll take the rebound in the, in the paint. Just now, 6-4 to four is the scoreboard. Five minutes to play in the first quarter. Russell Westbrook moving around past the Hachimura. Moves right over to Land. Land goes up. Shot missed. Good save. Good D for the bonus as he picks it up. Takes it away. Beal gets it back. What a stun action. That really kept them from getting the win. Beal for three. Wide open look. And he was on the three point line, so he was not able to take the triple on the play. So the challenge is called. He's on the three point line. It's a two. So close. Now here's Lavert, covered by Neto. 35 points for him. Neto passes his bonus. Goes back to Lavert. Lavert to Brissett. Brissett comes short, but a good rebound here for the Wizards to pick it up. Lay. Covered up by Sabonis. In Japanese. And that's Westbrook moves it back to Lynn. He's worked hard in the weight room. Sports a Hachimura going to Westbrook. And, and that great oh, he takes a dunk right over the Pacers player. And right on Summer. All those memorable ones. This is where this things get hotter and crazy. Pacers trail by six. So the Pacers trail by six. Bruce it. I've been looking Maybe at I might be saying that wrong. Levert. Levert in the middle. 
Screen on Sabonis. Goes up. Shot miss. Sabonis takes it in. And this will be another two points for Sabonis to pick it up. Hustling on the glass. Too much to say. Westbrook picking up another look on the offense here. And he comes up again. And it's good. Russell Westbrook has eight points in the game, three ten to play, twelve to six as he scores. Pacers are looking for another open offense to start for the game. Levert goes over Neto, and he makes a shot. That will be another two points for Levert. Timeout call from the Wizards. So let's recap it here once again. Um, so, we are looking back at Season 1, after the Wizards make the win over the Phoenix Suns in, this, um, in Season 1. Then Season 2, it was no option that the Wizards couldn't able to re reside, but it was enough to go right from the beginning of what we are calling for. And when the coaches were asking to say, where is the team? We've got to get this offense on the right position. Well, there's a problem. And I'm telling you that the Wizards definitely did beat the Hornets at this point. And now, in Season 3, it was the Heat that pulled up with a loss after the Wizards dug, dug it out again. And then in Season 4, back at home, it was over. The Wizards lost against the other team, and that turned out to be the Clippers. Not too much good on the, uh, on the offense to look at, but that was not enough to go from here. And then last season it was the uh, it was the Jazz that we did that we talked about it before. So not too much to say about these players. McConnell Holidays and McDermott comes in the court. Oh, what a shot! What a play this turned out! We got a one lucky shot here that goes in, and the foul is on McDermott. He's I mean McConnell. Washington shooting their first free throw of the game here. Right now, shooting one will be Smith. Two at 52. Left board, 77% collectively. First foul on McConnell. One shot left. Looking good here. Where you and I talk about the that will be three points for Smith to start NBA, off for the uh, first point of the game. Carry the and now on the other hand is McConnell. You played with the great one and, and, and this opponent tries to give a little help on offense. Oh, no McConnell passed to Holiday. Two guys kind of Drew Holiday will shoot. And it's missed off and Gafford will take the first rebound. Gafford passed to Bertans. Coming right behind is Aaron Holiday. Moves it over to Gafford. They pass it, they can shoot it from the free throw line. They give you rim protection. Bertans going in right around it. And the shot is off the mark. Very late on that call. He does impact the game as well. And McDermott takes a dunk. Great pass from, uh, for another Indiana Pacer with on another hand and a look. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. And here's Gafford passing it over to Matthews right now on the board. We're looking for another one to get there. And by here's Matthews. Matthews makes a shot. He's on the board. Two points of the game. Early on the carry. Doesn't get looted. Holiday moves over to McConnell. Indiana moving the ball. Aaron Holiday shoots. And he makes the first point of three outside the range. This guy can knock down uncontested threes. I haven't seen Aaron Holiday when what he was thinking about with Drew. But it may be too much to think about it. Take a step back with the fate. Seven to shoot. Trying to look around. Six on the shot clock. Smith coming in. And it's in there. Another point for Smith. Points of the pain. 14 for Wizards. And 10 for the Pacers. McConnell passed him. Sabonis moves over the holiday. Looking over McConnell. Seven points a game. Screen again on Sabonis. Pass blocked, but Drew Holiday has recovered. Aaron Holiday has to figure it out. 
Can you make it? Oh, it was blocked here! And that was Matthews with the first block. Great play. Berton, pass to Matthews. Matthews against Stakes at the three. Off the mark. Off the mark at that time. 20 seconds to go. 19 the first team to score. Makano looking over again. And time is running out in the first quarter. Pass to Sabonis, and that's good. That will put up assist from the uh, from Narwin. Five seconds to go. No time to think about it, but that will be it for the first quarter. 19 to 15 is your score. The first quarter comes up with a good play for the Wizards to pick it all. In the district, we'll be right back after this. Being yourself, you know, being in your own comfortable setting, you know, and then arena packed full of your own fans rooting and cheering you on. That's that's constant motivation and just energy, you know, that puts us into this mindset that we have to win at home. You know, Greg, it goes down. Second quarter is ready. And when we talk about Bradley Beal, about the front of the homestand of the crowd that are making the applause, they always wanted so much that they really wanted to give it all. But this wasn't all over. But this wasn't what we are talking about, the first one that we have just seen that Bradley Beal was working on his career, and he wants to do it right in front of a home crowd to make them go crazy. Well, it's nothing to say about the Bradley Beal about the home stand to make the crowds go even louder and make it crazy than I thought. So, that, so it's Gaffer with the first personal foul, and now shooting two will be Aaron Holiday. The DC is rising. Come on, baby. And First free throw makes it in. Russell Westbrook in for Washington. Now Russell Westbrook subbing in for Smith. One shot left. And he makes two. Shots. Definitely talking about what they are looking at. The Wizards with the lead. Wizards coming around again. Russell coming in. Oh, he does it again. Two in a row. Russell Westbrook takes ten points in a row. Wow. Smoking on a sonic boom. Bring it up for the Pacers. Never Pacer, look around. Oh, McConnell stepped out of bounds. It's the Wizards ball. Hachimura is checked in for Danny. Now there are new changes for the Pacers. Brissett's checked in. McConnell was saying, how did I step out of the bounds? Well, there's no questions to ask. They did it again. Westbrook does it again. Three in a row. 12 points on the board. Looking for a chance to pick up in the wild card and be in the playoffs if he wins it again. Robin against Westbrook. Robin against Westbrook. Lamb against Beal. Outside Lamb. McDermott outside. And he misses a shot. And that will be Russell Westbrook with the rebound. Pass over to Westbrook. Back to Beal. Beal with Westbrook. Looking low right over it. Beal goes in there in time and make the shot. Beal's got the lead up to eight now. Beal got up eight points in the board. Six points to carry. Here's Brogdon. Brogdon pass to Summer. Summer goes to Brissett. Brissett goes to McDermott. McDermott pass to Brissett. Four to go with the shot clock. McDermott. And that one. Brogdon making a layup and he hits the glass. That Malcolm Brogdon brings to competition every night. Off the dribble drive, okay. Russell Westbrook looking over it again. Pass right over to Bertans. To the inside. Inside. Hachimura. Oh, and the foul calls on McDermott. 5.06 left in the second quarter. Stopped. Right from here. Hachimura was able to look at the shot, but this vendor was just uh, on the carry, trying to close out the gap. But it turned out to be not enough power. Now Hachimura will take two shots. Time 
sounds like I'm not welcome for this. So. And that Hachimura makes the first. I mean, can you really compare players from completely different and Now, new change to see if the Wizards coming in around. Greatest of all time. Not sure who they are, are but uh, uh, you never know. No doubt about that. Wilt's a great example. One shot left from Hachimura. But, but in reality, to your point, the G Wiz, the mascot of the Wizards, Wizards. Game was played was so different uh, that it is looking strong out there. Two points for Hachimura. One of the best. I, I think that's Pass over to McDermott and the foul and one for McDermott. And now this turned to be a revenge. McDermott was just saying, "Meta, it was my shot." And you don't know how to call rephrase that call with a foul. So McDermott makes a two-point shot, and now he has one left. Had it as much as anybody who's ever played the game. Ajimura down low, beaten up by the defender by the ref, making a foul. Free throw drops it in for McDermott. Think about Doug McDermott. The last few years with the Russell Westbrook changing it up a bit. He's also been efficient. And though the volume is limited, this guy has done as good a job. Now it's Russell Westbrook to Hachimura. His spots. Now here is Hachimura. He's coming off a 13 point. Goes right over to Lynn. And the other thing, guys. Backs over to Westbrook. Trying to pick it up. Oh, and he makes the collision right on McDermott. Second personal foul is on the board for Indiana to pick up another foul. Exactly right, Greg. This guy knows his strengths, and that's his out. Now Russell Westbrook is going back to the free shooting free throw line. Stop the clock at 440 left. Two shots to go for Russell Westbrook. The District Columbia was just looking for another shot if he was making it in. I don't know what to say about Westbrook, but man, he's doing hard. Free throw good. Westbrook. Takes the first one in there in time. And now the new changes here for Indiana Pacers comes out out and around. The Pacers making a change here. Sabonis has checked in. One shot left. He makes two free throws. Russell Westbrook takes 14 points on the board. Looking good. Free throws for each team. Both teams have it. They have to take it out. Land with the seal. Pass over to Beal. Nettle for free. Makes it in! First three-pointer for Neto, and the assist goes out by Beal. This is why you have to stay connected. 4.15 left to go. Today's player is not intimidated by... Looking out, Brogdon. Shoots it up, and it's missed. Westbrook got another rebound here, and he's on, on the streak roll. Four minutes of play. Pass over to Beal. Bounce pass, tipped it off. And it's LeVert, takes that one right in the other lane, and he dunks and scores. Go ahead, Karis LeVert. We don't need to know what you got. Russell Westbrook over to land. Moving over back to Westbrook. Try to defend by the double man on the defense. Five to shoot. And lost the ball. Wizards have it covered with 3.3 left on the shot clock. Another change for the Pacers. Sumner, Sumner comes out. Drew Holiday comes back in. Now they got to look for offense to go right into possession. Shot clock at three. Shot up, and it's no good. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Number one, Drew Holiday in, covered by Neto. Drew Holiday will take the first two looks. Holiday's got his first two points. Now his first two points, thanks to LeVert with the assist. Three minutes to play. Russell Westbrook trying to defend the ball without being taken away, and that will be one. 
the scoring numbers have been Hachimura steps up, and now the next timeout call is on Indiana. Looks really good to me. And they definitely wander it up that they want to take out the Pacers without Victor Oladipo. New changes here for the Wizards here. Hachimura and Beal are subbed out. And now a new one is coming up is Gafford Abanga back on the court. Now here's Levert. Now Brogdon going around. Russell Westbrook tried to defend it, but it's off again. Too late to pick it up. Brogdon got it again. Gotta watch out for that play here, Russell Westbrook. We don't want uh, Brogdon to keep it going. Gafford rolling it in. Helping the screen is Gafford. Neto skeets it out. But the, but the shot was taken off. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game. They'll try to put that one. We're going to have to try to pick it up. Brogdon again. Missed the three opportunity outside of the range. Russell Westbrook picking up another rebound. This is what the this is what happened with the loss already on Saturday. As the Pacers definitely did not have it all to pick it up. I don't know what to say about that one because there isn't anything to say about that. Shut up, iPad. I was not talking to you. I'm gonna have to disable you. Westbrook against Brogdon. There's his third field. Anyway, we got Brogdon making a number look on the game. Just a minute and a half to go. Step up there, Mr. Brogdon. Westbrook. Bounce pass to Gafford. Rolls it up. Good pass. Lee got with the layup. Len, sorry. And then it's Fonga with the assist. Pass to Sabonis. Pass to Sabonis over to Levert. And by Russell Westbrook with the ESA is coming off. Neto missing the shot as we were looking for. Just a minute of play. Passing over to Gafford. Gafford pass to Bonga. 45 seconds to go. Goes right over to Neto, trying to pick it up. Oh, he made this shot before the shot clock expired. Well, that was good anyway. Not even expecting this was going to be happening all over. And now another shot here was Levert in the other hand. 30 seconds before the first half comes to a close. Then the second half will be ready to pick it up. Westbrook going up. Ooh, what a call that offensive foul on, I mean, what a call the foul on the Sabonis, but it, just, but it was too late. 12 seconds. Brogdon for three. Missing out again. Bonga with another rebound. It looks like they were going to hold it up. And that will be it for the first half of the game. 40 to 32 is your score. And there it looks like they're going to be back in the game if they move it on in the first round. And now let's send it over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David, what do you have here? Bradley, a strong first half for you and the team. It looked like you guys really were ready to play. Was that something Coach emphasized? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, we want to hit them first. We want to take any temperatures, like he said. So we're not going to just let guys do what they want to do. We're going to come out and be their aggressor and we did them. Obviously, have to maintain that in the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. We'll be right back after this one. So stay tuned for the second half. Okay, I disabled the Hey Siri on my iPad, so now it won't talk anymore while well, I'm still uh, trying to record this video, so sorry that I forgot to um, stop the recording button before I uh, before the game is already over on the first half. In fact, Russell Westbrook making 16 points in the game, also 5 rebounds, and all the assists. I might be out a good game, but for this one, it's I don't know what to say about that, but it looks like it uh, turns out to be good. But now, the second half starts now. Brogdon trying to find for an open look. Brogdon tries to find his pass to Sabonis. Now pass to Brogdon going for three. 
It's no good. Hachimura making another a rebound. That's two. Like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Looking for her open pass. Back to Neto. You know, winning that championship Neto up. Be great for you and foul on the bird. I'll be the first personal foul here. Stop the clock at 6.27 left. I don't know, he made this layup, but it looks like he was a little bit high off already. Yep. You see that? A little bit high off again. I'm not sure what to say about it, but this might be tough to look at. The ball, ball. Did miss a game, but I tell you what. I don't know if I would do that today. But you know, if it's interesting shot to go from here. As I recall, you broke it against Fresno State, correct? Yes, yeah, got my legs taken out uh, from under oh. me and broke the fall with my mm. face. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> You're going to say that one again, are you? Greg Anthony, I don't know what to say about you. 6.20 left to play. Levert passed to Brogdon. Brogdon passed to Levert. As you see, commentators, uh, Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and yours first. Ooh, we got a good block here. I don't know who could that be. But the three is of Jamura. Good play. But it's on the three-point line, so it's still two. Assist by Russell Westbrook. That is number two in a row. It's looking good. Brogdon passes to Levert. Screen on Sabonis. Looking again. Levert, pass to Brogdon. Six to shoot. He's to do it again. Can he try to make it? With the shot, it's off. And that's Len with the rebound. First rebound of the game. Six points for Brogdon. 5.22 to go. Oh, the bounce pass was broken up. Oh, Hachimura goes down. Here's the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh! Russell Westbrook with the block, and we got a fighter on Mobile One block of the game. Tremendous, Tremendous game. That was an instant slow-mo in the second half. Looking very comfortable, and he's right around the board. Watch out, game players. Russell Westbrook has it covered. Now it's McDermott coming in for uh, and it's Matthews for McDermott. Barrett. McDermott's checked in for the Pacers. Land and I don't know what you call that, but uh, anyway, let's see what we have. Levert making a shot. It's good. Bottom bucket. Looking very solid here. Russell Westbrook changing it up a bit. He decides to help his teammate to go for a look, and the pass is good. Great job on the number assist for Tons, and Russell Westbrook does it again. 4.45 left to play here in the second half. Matthews against Brogdon going right underneath, and that one solves it. Brogdon has got another point, and it's back in the game. 4.30 left to play. To the mid-range game. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 16. Looking right over it. What if they able to pick up a screen? Hachimura moves over to Matthews. Now Matthews missing a shot. Boy, again, so little defense. 410 to go. Russell Westbrook is out of fuel. Passes it to Sumner. Summer. Sumner in the corner. Trying to go over the seal. Brogdon. Missing out on another three-point range. Under four minutes to go, he has eight points still covered. Now he passes to Hachimura. Back to Bertans. Back to Bertans. Bertans making the shot. Hachimura with the assist. Time out. Indiana. 344 left. 48 to 36. Looking good out there. I'm seeing a lot of good plays around in between in and out. Well, it looks like uh, Russell Westbrook is uh, running out of fuel. Let me go ahead and uh, regenerate him to be back on the board. And I will put Smith in the point guarding position right now. I'll make sure everything else is okay. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, try to go for the... Um, I'll go ahead and try
try to stick on the average. A um, little bit of transition. Also playthroughs as well. Much more will be alright. I don't know who's a new coach for the Indiana Pacers. But I have no idea who could that be. Daniel Gafford's checked in for the Wizards. Smith comes in for Russell Westbrook. The Pacers also changing it up. Jeremy Lance checked in for Edwin. So Smith. as they changed Aaron up, Holland McDermott in for Karis looking Lover. right around it. T.J. McConnell in for Brogdon. Now Pass the layup. Off with the shot. Corner the three. And we got the first bucket the for the game. And it's Jeremy Lamb. Makes that an easy shot. 325 left. Looking right over. Basically, as a defender, hoping the man passes the rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Bertans. And they get some nice contributions. Got to go for the bounce pass to Gabbard. As he averages over 11 points a game. Four on the clock. Makes over to Bonas. And the shot's no good. McDermott with the ball. Pass to McDermott. Uh, McConnell. Oh, and it's Holiday making the dunk. You have to have the vision to find Aaron Holiday does it again the pass. second time. We're down under three minutes to go. Hachimura. Pass over to Smith. Finding it screen is uh is for times. Shoot shots off. Smith trying to look right around it on the back end. Didn't seem like he was going to go for it, but he didn't get it right. Got to seal it, but it didn't work. Sabonis going with the shot. Missed it out. Beal has it covered up on the floor. 2-12 left. Hachimura in the corner. And that one goes in. Three corner assist by Beal. What a smooth pass. Smooth run. Looking very well. Pass to Sabonis. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. It's up, and it's out of play. Beal with the foul for the Wizards. And this turned out to be the number shooting foul for the Wizards to pick it off. And Sabonis will go to the line to shoot two. New changes will be up ahead after the first shot. First shot goes in for Sabonis. And now new changes here for the Pacers and the Wizards. Lamb is out. Drew Holiday comes in. And on the other hand will be Hachimura. And that will be Bonga coming back in. Justin Holiday is checked in for Lamb. Justin Holiday. Okay. So we get Justin, I'll say. Not Drew, because. That's He's different. got 155 left in the third quarter. Jay Holiday, A Holiday. I'm oh, oh, sorry, Aaron Holiday. I'll try to say it this way. Burton's trying to mess up on McDermott. Smith. Smith rolls it in, crosses it up, and makes the layup. Good play. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. Another shot making out of the attempt to go in and out. And now another play comes in handy. Oh, what a block here. Looks like Bonga got it all. Gaffers, and he slings it in with a dunk. Now it turns out to be after Beal with the assist. There you go. Pacers trail by 12. Pacers are trailing up by 12. McConnell trying to look the number around. 106 left to play in the third. McConnell misses. Outside, but he it. has it back. Aaron Holiday outside. Shoots over. Shoots over it again. Retires with the block. Holiday. Missed the three. Missed the three. No good with the triple. Now they got to do the floppy step. Trying to go for another look. There's 39 seconds left. Passes up to Beal. Beal, no choice but going for three. And it's slightly early with the defender being covered up. Four and three point shots here in the third. To the paint. And it's Gaffer with the steal. 
Oh, Bonga! Ah, he didn't get there in time. We almost stepped out of bounds already. Be careful. Ten seconds to go. Try to go for another look. McConnell pass, and it's tipped away. That was the end of the third. Oh, the half court shot would have made it and cut it, but it's off. 55 to 43 is your score. Wizards are definitely handling it off. The good time roll. Fourth quarter is underway next. Be right back. Time to look at the State Farm Assist of a game. And here's a section of a look from the play-in tournaments part. And that's well, where it is. Great point guard play is. Good point guard plays, and definitely NBA. we're talking you about right another look to see what they have. And there have been two. Very and there's too many to pick it out here, so let's stick, stick it around a bit, a bit later. We've got Russell Westbrook. We'll see what we can do if we find another look on the offense. If we find enough, and Land has to go get it. Try to peek up a deep pass. Oh, almost off the board. Oh, no. And it's LeVert with the block. Len covers it up. It will try it again. Attempt number two. And it's Westbrook with a deep shot fadeaway. Looking big and wow. There on the madness. 6.23 left. 57 to 43. Understanding what the rule is all about. A slightly missed out on, on the range for Karis LeVert. Rebounds looking here, 20 for Wizards and 16 for the Pacers. Here's Neto, LeVert defending. They're going to need to do another floppy step here. Westbrook for three, missed out. And that is another rebound for the Pacers. Sumner will try, and he makes the first basket. Levert's got four assists in the game. Levert, four and assists. The ball Watch out. For the Washington Wizards. Now let's try motion. Has to land. Land right over it. Goes to Westbrook. Screen on Gafford. And he does it again. This is the third time in a row. And he says, what's up? I'm all, I'm all around the board. Chasers are calling timeout with 522 left. Stay tuned for the West Conference game as we will be seeing the 9 and 10 seed of Memphis Grizzlies against the, against the San Antonio Spurs in the Western Conference. I will sub out Gafford and then I will go ahead and bring back um, Achimura in. And right now, let's see what we else we got here. Um, I think uh, Rob Lopez. We'll give it a shot. Why not? I don't. I haven't seen Robert Lopez giving up a, to a great start at that point. Right now, uh, let's bring Smith in, and Bradley Beal will keep an eye on him. Um, you know what? Let's sub him out and let's switch over to Bonga. Let's protect for each perimeter so nobody gets in the way. On the sideline, let's catch up with all of you. Let's catch on David Aldrich. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Indiana's head coach was saying to the team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other up and getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Hoping they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Wow, plenty of ways for Malcolm Brown. A lot of Rossi prime targets are the there, but there might be another in. one to look out of after it. But Colin Brown gets 10 points. Robin Lopez will give it a try. Lopez, right side. Robin Lopez. Oh, he made the shot. It's a bonus with the foul. That counts it in. Robin Lopez was missing out. Nice His brother, there. Brooke Lopez, from the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, he misses him so much. I guess we'll only be asked to see him later, too, if he has to give it a shot. Sabonis with the first personal foul. 4.48 to go. 
I think so. Uh, 61 to 47. One shot for Lopez. Man, obviously, and in the NBA, in basketball, Robin Lopez. One guy can have more impact, right? Because you now, you, now, now you now now you won't have, have two brothers so, anymore. Uh, Broke does and Robin to say, but I don't think that completes the narrative. You know, what a great job on the start for Robin Lopez to pick it up. Great job. Smith and Levert on the corner of the wing. Pass to Brockett. Screen on Savonis, and he makes another one. He does not get there in time. 4.30 left to play. The clock is winding down. Just a bit under short of a minute to go. Hachimura in the top. Now here is Hachimura. Goes to the right over to Bongo. Not Here's sure what he's thinking, but Hachimura with the screen. Try to pick it up. Shot no good. Reset with another rebound. Oh, wow. And let's Bert picking up another layup in the row. Wizards leading by 13. And it's Westbrook picking up. Oh, he almost missed it out time, but it looks like Russell Westbrook is being uh, been in the game. The 22 points, looking good. And making good 340 left. Rodney. Around it, and a shot goes well, in. Timeout, Wizards. Really 334 left. 64 to 51 is your score. Time call here. The Wizards and we will have to talk it over again. We'll see what we, where we have. Oh, never mind. After a short talk, it goes back on. Robin Lopez, by Smith comes out. Here the now we bring Bertans, Beal, and No back in. Westbrook kicks to Bertans. Bertans back up. This is a Pass to Hachimura. Back to Bertans. Bertans goes right out. Right from the frame. Sabonis. Sabonis with the rebound. Sabonis has got rebound number Sabonis eight now. Number, number, number eight. Number eight. Westbrook, right over on uh, Brogdon, over Beal, well, and it looks like Beal got to cover two rebounds in the game. Now he passes over to Neto. Pass to Hachimura. Goes back to Neto. Neto goes up. And he shot goes in. Drilling it from the outside of the range of the good time roll. Lurt to the inside. Westbrook. Oh, and it just couldn't work it off. Brogdon gets another another point. Now it's 14 for him. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. 223 left to go. Beal looking right after it. The Bertans. The Wizards working the Bertans going back. Five to shoot. Try to go for another one. Beal. Oh no, and it's Sumner with the steal. Sumner passes to Sabonis. Oh, he put it up over on the other player on Bertans. And Domantas Sabonis comes with the dunk. This guy is willing to do it. It's Westbrook with the try. In the other hand, it's Westbrook. Westbrook's got 24 That's points. That's 24 points? My gosh. That was crazy. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistent. Karis LeVert looking around. Screen on Sabonis. And he makes a reverse layup. That's another assist by LeVert. Recognizing where to roll to open. Bangle up at it now. Sabonis very crafty. Now will be another danger happening. 90 seconds to play in the final quarter. Pass to Hachimura. Shots off, and now it's Brissett with the first personal foul on the Pacers. Well, we know Rui wants to score it. He will not. He would have restored it back in the other hand, but it looks like everything is turning down fast. Looks good. And now new changes here for the Pacers and the Wizards. 
Bobby Hachimura. Brissett is done for the day. McDermott is back out. And Len will be coming in for Bertans. For Washington. And Indiana with a change here, too. McDermott's checked in. He Makes two. Looking very good here for Hachimura to pick it up. Pacers trail by 13. Now the Pacers are trailing up by 13. This could be their end for the season. Left here in the fourth quarter. Levert, Levert going up. out, and he and made another two-pointer. Well, and that's 14 in the row with, with Mahal Brogdon. And at this point, just pass over to Len. Pacers, as it appears, it'll just be nice one minute to go. Their shot blocking turned out. To oh, Archie Mara! Right over on McDermott, and it says, Oh, yeah, this is part of our home. Watch this. Oh, you boom. That, that's where he dunks it in. That turned it off at the right time. Now, another foul is on Len. First personal foul on the Wizards. 50.3 seconds. It wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting. Just enough to go right after it. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, that is so weird. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. All right, so two shots is up. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. And the free throw drops. First free throw is dropping in right at that timing. Every year. Karis LeVert takes another step. Karis LeVert played with the Nets, game. but now and his Nets season is over. And now his contract wants to go him. with the Pacers. After James Harden was playing, finishing with his season, he now got franchising team back in the world. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, Looking close right down there, Westbrook. Just take time. 43 seconds to go. Westbrook against Rodman. Westbrook passes Pass to Hachimura. Kicks it to Beal. Kicks to Beal. Down to five on the shot clock. Beal trying to go for the shot. Does that time and it missed. Good D by Sabonis. Good D by Sabonis. 20 seconds. Well, it's been a hard fought battle. Shot coming out here way off. McDermott with the shot. No good. 10 seconds left, 72 to 61. And, here is and the Wizards are heading in to the second to final spot before heading to the playoffs of 2021. So the Wizards grab the win, 72 to 61 of the score. Well, that's the end for the first of the 9 and 10 seed in the start. We'll stick around later with the 7 and 8 seed as the Celtics take on against the Hornets in this part of the game. Not sure what they're going to be doing, but it looks like there might be a good chance that they are looking for. Here's David on the sideline. Thanks very much, Bradley. Congratulations on the win. And how important is it to get this win at home when you got this road trip coming up? Uh, it's real important. Uh, you always got to take care of your home court, and at the same time, uh, it gives us a winning streak now. So, I mean, we have to come out and be ready to play. Uh, so, a lot of tough teams, but I think we're going to be ready for the job. Congratulations again, Bradley. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, David. And speaking of, uh, speaking of this interview, we got Russell Westbrook doing some crazy bomb, photo bomb action. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him, but it looks like it's turned out just a bit quite often that much. There's much happens that point. And now they're moving in to the final two in the play in tournaments part. And now the and now your Jordan player of the game presented by New Balance goes out to Russell Westbrook. Twenty-four points, seven rebounds, three assists, and a block. Plus three dunks in a row. That's what that's whatever happens to here. I'm just doubting that he could do this one again. And who will they play against? We have to find out for sure. Well, that's it for today. And we will stick around next time for the Western Conference of the Grizzlies versus Spurs. 
as we will be seeing the next time since Season 2 of the Spurs win over Grizzlies. So thanks for joining us. Peace out, bitches, for as a while as the play-in tournament of the NBA 2K21 dial. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks, and good night in Washington, D.C. Hey, guys, did you guys know that there is a new show that has been out here for now? Well, during a couple seasons, say hello to An Anime Insanity Invitational. This is the newest video that you guys have ever seen before, part of the BFB right from this tournament to compare which show does it have the most. Now, enjoying this part of a video is just amazing to see the competitors compete in each three teams. Team Blue, Team Yellow, and Team Pink. Well, now it resides into Team Finkers, Team Sinkers, and Team Pinkers. As you can see right now, there are three teams that will be doing for its competition. Thanks to the first episode, we already seen a couple of them being eliminated for three times a vote. Now, if you'd like to participate in the animation for the N Anime Insanity Invitational, you go to the website now at inanimeinsanity.com slash vote to vote each contestants that will be eliminated. Remember, the voters has to get three times in order for the contestants to be eliminated in each team, no matter which team will be. And once the most votes has encountered down, most contestants that has the most votes will be eliminated in this competition. That's right. Now, if you'd like to check out this uh, channel and also see these good videos of each season, don't forget to click the subscribe button of Animation Epic. Turn on a notification button so you don't miss out with a new video alerts right on your phone, tablet, or anything else on your device. And also post a comment down below if you have anything to say and click the thumbs up button to like this video. And also an important fact, you can also check out on social media as well. Follow him on Patreon, Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. Plus, there's a merchandise here that is right at the side for you in the description. Go to uh, inanimatedsanity.com slash shop if you'd like to participate, if you'd like to see, get your merchandises, and enjoy your souvenir special. Now, if you guys haven't just... Um, subscribe to my channel please subscribe to us uh, my channel and son of beast as well you will get more of these videos i will do more of them next time and also another bfb bfdi of the season five of power of two once the break is over for each part so i will do the bfb super cuts later so stick around for you guys who's able to um stay with the fact and also, don't miss out our brand new skit. Coming your way in. Of course, I just said that. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time in the next video. Peace out, bitches. Till now.